Alles gut, alles gut. Starting, you're starting to get the culture slot more and more, right? But then 
what's the point of trying to remember it? What's the point of trying to bring it back? If um, you're moving on, right? So like um, <coughs> when you're talking about teaching your 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 um, your spouse from a different culture, the, your culture, right? What's the point of doing that? Is it because you think that your parents would want them to be cultural? Is it you yourself, you want to hold the culture? Yo, like, be honest, like, you, is it because you want to maintain the culture? Do you really, is it really part of your life now? So it's really, you know, it's like when you go back home, to your family, like your That's what I'm saying, family. but how often will you be yeah. doing that? So that's like, why you try to make a whole... Like, I'll, I'll tell you something, like, this is how I see it. To keep your culture, yeah, that's keeping your identity, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah. if you lose it, you're basically losing a bit of yourself. Mm -hmm. And, like, if you lose that, then you're just going to follow, you know, the way society goes. Mm -hmm. You really have nothing to come back to, you know what I mean? Like, it's not about going to Africa or just doing it because you're going to go back there, but it's just about... Keeping it because ah. it's also a part of your identity. Because look at it, you're brown, you know, you're black. That color represents your culture as well. Because people from Africa are known to be that color. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you kind of fade away from culture, that means you lose a bit of your identity as well. I'm not not saying that you're obviously gonna lose it, but I'm just saying like if you were to lose some, then it's, gonna be hard, to get it's it hard to get it back because. Who are you gonna go to? Say your parents are not there, you know? That's what I'm asking. So, yeah. Yeah. what is your point? Is it because yeah, you truly believe in your culture or just because you think people around you? you know? I'll tell you what it is with that, yeah? I feel like <clears throat> as time goes on, you almost you kind of hold on to the part of the culture that's important to you yeah. right now. Yeah, so, exactly. You can't hold on to everything yeah, because yeah, we don't even have the ability to hold into every single thing that um, our parents or our grandparents kind of had. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we came down here, we adapted to this, we cannot hold on into everything. We can definitely hold on to something like I said, you can hold on to uh, food, clothing, uh, music, um, travel, dance and all that stuff. Those are the stuff that, you know, you can even relate to right now, you know what I mean? And again, different generations, they will relate to different things, which means that we cannot even, even if we want to take it on board with us, we can't even do that just because we can't even relate to that part of the culture. So we take on what we can relate to right now, that's why. Yeah, so like what you were saying about holding on to something that's valuable to you or that yeah. you need right now, like with the language, Right now, that's the main thing you need to hold on to. Because yeah. when you went, when I went to Africa, I didn't, I couldn't speak my tribal language at all. So I felt isolated from my family. Like, well, I that like, comes down to if you go to Africa. No, like I know I'm gonna go often. Like I need to see my family as well. I want to see where I grew up kind of thing. Because that's just who I am. You can't forget that part of you kind of thing. So like when I went there, I saw the kids that did know Arabic and the kids that didn't know Arabic. The kids that didn't know Arabic, they were isolated from everyone. Like all they did is just stay in a room play on their iPhones or iPads while everyone else was like mucking around because they couldn't talk to that talk to those people like back home. So luckily because my family we learned how to speak Arabic even since we were young. Now I just feel like one of the biggest things that we have to hold on to is our language. You know what I mean? Because that's what makes us like obviously our colour makes a you know massive difference and you know. But I feel like it's our language that kind of be like okay cool, you know? Because I feel like when we step out there and we forget our language and all we can do is speak English. We're basically part of everyone else. Mm -hmm. Do you feel me? So I feel like we need to hold on to stuff that kind of makes us um, different. Like I feel like even us hanging out together is it's already making it us different than everybody else. We're already keeping that traditional that tradition going without even us even knowing it. You know what I mean? If we come down here and we start speaking Arabic, I don't know about this dude. So but <laughs> <laughs> you can teach us a bit of Nigerian, bro. But it is a Nigerian. <laughs> nah, no, no. Shut up, bro. What was the Nigerian? Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, I was gonna say, yeah, we just see a non African just doing something and then you guys just look at each other and you guys, you know, say stuff in your language. That's already literally keeping you, you know, your tradition going without even knowing it. This, this is what I'm still asking. It. So it's important to you, essentially. Yeah, say, yeah, you know, yeah. that I said, like you've grown up here, essentially, right? And a lot more of your influences have been existences here, things you've watched, mm -hmm. right? Um, the education you've received. Mm -hmm. These are core, core things that have you know formed you who you are now, right? But those are influences that have been from here. That, mm -hmm. Like how much of an influence has your background had on you and who you are now, and what, and what you believe, and what you think? Because your experiences are completely different to what you've um, faced there because um, what you would have faced there let's say you grew up you grew up in Africa right? you would have a completely, completely different outlook on life wouldn't yeah. you because mm -hmm. your experiences would be hey, what's it called your experience would be completely different um, compared to if you grew up here um, if you grew up there and here right mm -hmm. so like how much of an impact on your identity did Africa or your culture really have on you then? But massive it was a massive for me no, because yeah. right. when you went back how crazy was the experience yeah. there was when like, you went back, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Went, but yeah, I yeah, this thing is, that's something that you can't let go. Yeah. It's yeah, so just I, I, that's I just want yeah. to get to it. Yeah. yeah, so what you like, keeping this culture right now will keep you closer to your roots back in Africa. Yeah. 
Because as soon as I landed on that plane, I'm like, oh, when I got off that plane, landed in Africa, the first thing that hit me was a hot air, but then all the memories came back with it too. You like, it felt like you've always been there kind of thing, but you were just here, you have been taken away from home. Yeah, like even when I went like, but on the roads, you look at, look at the window, you're like, what the I, like, I remember this place, this yeah. kind of thing. Like, even though it's changed over the years, there's still something there that you see. But, so, the way you're describing it is like, it's a core part of your identity. Yeah, you need it. Yeah, you need it. Yeah. Yeah, you That's need what it sounds too. like, but when you need it, though, it's not like, you're you're day, you I'm talking it. about your day to day. It's because you're not, That's what I'm trying to say. 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 That's culture. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I don't say that. This is what you feel like. You don't even have to go to Africa to kind of experience That's what I'm trying to say, yeah. But, this is the this is this is what's big and bad. Bro, you experience it at your house, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I heard you. Man, like, you know, have you guys ever been at home at the same time or like you just take a step back and then it feels like you're in Africa, bro? You know, like, was, <laughs> nah, like, real quick. Yeah, nah, 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 like, on Sunday morning, yeah, like, my mom was saying, yeah. yeah. you know yeah. what they do, the cleaning? Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, the cleaning, I think, is the number one thing. The cleaning is the church songs. <laughs> yeah, bro, the church songs. It plays this, like, beautiful, like, you know, African music, and it's like, mm mm, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> singing, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, 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 bro. Hey, in the morning, they just wake up and then you see this beautiful African food, you know? Mm. Wow, like. <laughs> whoa, whoa, get hungry, bro. Yeah, that's like, crazy. Yeah, bro. <laughs> no, but like, bro, that's what I'm trying to say, though. Yeah. Like, you don't have to stay in Africa to be like, oh my god. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So that's, saying, that's, that's when it becomes part of your identity because it's more of a day to day. Identity is, is, is essentially how you carry yourself on a daily, right? Isn't mm. it? Not just. When you're going to Africa, that's when you remember your identity now. So yeah, so are you carrying this with you as you continue? Me personally, I don't feel like I'm living in this country forever. So for me to really preserve um, my culture is important to me because when I do go back, I want to be able to just fit in, I guess. Yeah, like me, I have no memory of home because when I left home, I was uh, about one years old. Yeah. So when I, like for me to really do this sort of thing with my parents right now, you know, the, oh, the culture that we have at home right now, you know, with cooking, the language and all that. The closest thing. Yeah, that, like, that's the closest thing to eat too. I <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's like me as well because, like me, I left when we were three. When, when I was three, yeah. and I haven't been back in what probably yeah, like seventeen years almost now. So, as like you, I've had no no like recollection of growing up there. What that means, the glimpses and, and grasp that I have from my cultures, like when my grandparents come here, um, when I talk to uncles and aunties and things like that, when people come from there um, recently, right? So. I think it is an amazing thing to obviously be able to go back because it will just yeah. it will honestly make you look at who you are in this world and the, the position you have being here, right? Yeah. The position that you have to be able to be in, in a place like this and how much of an impact you can have in people's lives back there, people here as well. Just understand where you came from and where you could have been right now, kind of thing. Hey, so, like my question, yeah. oh, sorry. so my question to you is, is culture really important for you since you didn't have that much time to kind of go through to experience it? The thing is, uh, the culture was maintained because like, when we moved here, it was like when a whole amount of other um, Nigerian people from our area like would have moved as well. Like mm -hmm. coming here, we were greeted with the whole of Nigeria essentially again. So culture was there as I was growing up in you know? it. Like back in the day when we used to always attend a lot of these events, like I'd be at be an event every week, bro. Mm -hmm. Be an event every week, there's church every Sunday, you know what I mean? Like um there's people always coming over to your house and things like that. So the culture wasn't maintained. Mm -hmm. In terms of my identity now, I'd say it's been a lot more influenced by where I am now, not necessarily back there. But when I do talk to my grandparents, it, it, that interest is there like wow like there's a whole way other way to look at life when your experiences are completely different mm -hmm. so it would be i think it's more it's not my day-to-day -day, um life that my culture has an impact on but more so if i did ever want to go back knowing those things knowing how um, that my culture in its true form would be a great impact on me but like it would just help me to look at life a little bit different but for my day-to-day -day, i don't think culture has like that much <coughs> And that's what I think it is. I feel like when you know when you're able to grow up just a little bit in Africa, I don't know, like a day of even six, seven, it'd be yeah, great. What time did you come? When did you come here? <laughs> 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 I left. I you left. came here when you were tall, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I left Africa when I was like four, last year. Yeah. Nah, you lied. I lived in Egypt for years, bro. Uh, Egypt is Africa, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, yeah, like. Uh, Obviously, when you go to Egypt, obviously, you know, that same tradition, everything is not the same. Not necessarily. Yeah. Nah, but you get upset. Like, everything, the environment is obviously changed. Yeah, yeah. But I was going to say, like, and I feel like, you know, you can kind of observe this. You know, those people that kind of, like, they're kind of our age, but they grew up, a, like, a little, uh, longer, a little bit longer yeah. over there. Yeah. Obviously, when they come down here, you can see that they're massively influenced by that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when I look at them, it's like, 
I don't know what it is, man. It's like they're being more mature. To, like I don't know how to describe yeah. it, but you can easily, you can kind of tell. Oh, the way they carry themselves. Yeah, the way they've carried themselves, they're, they're being more like, yeah, the more experienced. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, more experienced. Whereas us, I don't know, man. Like, I, like I think I'm mature. Yeah, yeah. Come on, no, like I think I'm mature. Yeah, but then when I meet them, I feel like I'm childish. Then yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, not for real. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like that's why you know. For real, not because let you to grow. Up. But because yeah, there's the rules and stuff you have to follow, kind of thing. Yeah, it's too sensitive. Yeah, too sensitive. Yeah, bro. Yeah, well, yeah, really. Yeah, because the stuff you do in Africa could be considered illegal here. Nah, that's the thing. You try to bring with that African tradition over here. Best believe you're getting locked up. Oh, yeah, I'm cool. yeah, nah, bro, for real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> one group. You say I'm criminal I'm charges here. It's a criminal. I'm a criminal. I don't know. It's a criminal. Hey, you try to say criminal record. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> like I was gonna say, yeah, obviously growing up there, living longer can make a massive difference. For example, when we move down here, the amount of people that Africa is getting in trouble, you know, the young ones, the youth. You know, imagine if they grew up up there just a little bit longer, if they came down here, look at the difference that would have made on them, right? Mm -hmm. It's obviously when up there, if they do something bad, they can get that ass whooping over here, they can't do that. Mm -hmm. It's just all this little, little tiny stuff. Yeah, yeah, like back in Africa, you see six year old like kids driving trucks and shit, like, how? Yeah, 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 hey, six yeah, yeah, driving trucks. Africa, right? So that, bro, ah. six, bro. I saw one point, like, seven year old driving with a van full of adults. I think you touched on something pretty important about talking about youth that beginning in trouble and things like that, right? Okay. Because um, coming here, your parents as well um, are forced to also try and adapt, and they yeah. they this is like a number of a thousand different things on your parents' minds once you've come here. There's them trying to maintain the culture in their own way. There's them trying to adapt to a culture here, and then there's them trying to look after you and, and things like that, and bring you up. And and in doing that, that's when you find a lot of youth in a in a in a like just a great area where they don't even really know who they are. They're just joining any type of group, any type of whatever connection that they can find mm -hmm. to do whatever. When you know who you are and what you stand for and what what would do make your parents proud of that, you, your mind is going to be you know you'll be levels, you'll be on on a path, you'll be heading down a path that's not going to be detrimental to your future. So when you haven't had that ability all your life to actually be able to know you are grow and mature, that's when you see a lot of this happening. You know, there's a, the, I think it's a massive identity crisis like these days in, in you. And that leads to a lot of what, what you're seeing um, out here in Australia, especially yeah, in Melbourne. No, I agree with that 100%, bro. Because like when I came down here, I also just came with, uh, with my mom first. And my dad came like years after. But like, she was trying to adapt to, to this whole thing. Like over here, you know, when you still have that childish mindset, you don't know, like you're still running around, you don't know anything. <coughs> You know what I mean? And then my mom, you know, first of all, like, I'm uh, traveling from one place to another, you know, the bus, everything. And I, you know, for me, that's why I have, you know, massive respect for my mom. So shout out to my mom. Yeah, you know, I have my mom's Oh, Mother's Day, isn't it? Tomorrow. Oh, Mother's Day, tomorrow. Yeah, shout out to my mom's out there. Yeah, shout out to my mom. Mama! Mama! Shout out to your niggas too, bro. Like, you guys have peace, bro. These niggas, we make that life easy, bro. Fresh is a rat. I had to make this in his friendship circle for him because it was fresh as shit. Like, oh, oh, oh. No so uh, back to what Daniel said. So the importance of um, keeping my culture alive. Um, in my opinion, I feel like um, it's for the next generations after us. So for us right now to just keep things like language and food, food and marriage and all that, just to keep that alive. And then um, and just add a little bit of our own flavor. Like for example, switched up the music. Back home, right? So it normally be females who cook. So now some yeah, females are yeah, able yeah. to cook. Nah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so that could be something that's added to our culture as well. So then that yeah. goes back to adapting as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I got two questions here. Yeah. So number one is what are the consequences Ooh. of not adapting to to the place, you know, to a different place that you moved. For example, not adapting to Australia. Yeah. And the second one, second one is uh, what are the consequences of not adapting um, or sorry. Second one is what are the consequences of not keeping your traditions going. So mm -hmm. I feel like, so if you're not keeping your traditions going right now, how's it gonna affect you in the long term? Like this is the individual thing. If you uh, keep it's, up, it's like it's yeah. like uh, uh, David said, you're you're more isolated. So pretty much. That's when you're there, though. Huh? When you're over there. No, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. Good, yeah. Good, yeah. Good. Yeah. no, 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 I'm saying, but how can you be isolated? Yeah, yeah. you still have friends. Yeah. You still have friends. 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 You still have
good. Yeah, but like, 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 you still don't forget who you are, yet. Yeah? yeah. Not necessarily no, forgot, but you're not I'm holding saying, the contract. You're not, you're not taking up the tradition. Because like, like, oh. think about it, right now, yeah? What are you holding on right now that you use every day? That's part of your tradition. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So, you got to sell Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, like, like uh, food, language. Uh, uh, regularly, you yeah, speak like, English. Yeah, like, yeah, it's exactly what you're saying. No, 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 I feel like I know what you mean by isolated, but I feel like you can only be isolated at home. But when you step out of home, I don't feel like you be isolated as much. Because, because you're I feel like you don't, yeah, you don't really carry your your culture when you step out of home. Because you're saying food, language, yes, that's inside of home. But then now what happens when you go to basketball training? What happens when you be kicking it with us? You're just saying there's a language barrier since we speak different languages. So right now you're not even using your own uh, language with us, right? So how do you even carry your traditions? Bro, do you have respect and all that? Like that's, yeah. that's that, see now that's that's the type of thing we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our culture, you know, there's a whole great aspect of being uh, respectful. Really? Yeah, yeah. See things like that. That's what I'm saying. These are the things that come become identity, not just when you're going back or whatever, or when you're at home. So like, how has your culture shaped who you are? Yeah. That's what <laughs> I'm talking about, bro. Huh? <laughs> it's a year, bro. <laughs> I said, damn, bro. Yeah, but you can't have a touch, bro. He's trying to speak back to her. Yeah, all right. Nah, I'm trying to hold her in. Nah, because his head was here. Then he took another quick one. Nah, bro. But like, but yeah, yeah. See, these are things that are yeah. your identity. Yeah. Right? So it's deeper than food, <laughs> language. That's what I'm trying to talk about. Like, how you think, how you, how you act, exactly. how you carry yourself. Okay. That's when your culture, I'm saying, how much of an impact does that actually have on you? Because, your life. because yeah. the respect and all that is the way you actually use every single day. Mm -hmm. Do you feel what I mean? With the food and, and the language and everything, I feel like there could be a good week where you're not, where you can't even use it. Yeah. yeah. So example, you just go out to, example, when you went to UK for basketball, Europe for basketball, you weren't able to use your traditions. You weren't able to carry that, right? Ah, uh, well, I <laughs> Were you able to talk to my Were you able to talk to my over there? Were you able to talk your language to one of the players? Nah, bro, look at those ugly black people over there. Ugly? Nah, those ugly. I just said ugly. You know how, like, every time you see a black person, they're like, say what's up with you? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, I, bro, I had no idea who these people were. Yeah, but that is slightly like, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, nah, that's part of your culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, as in, like, respect and all that stuff is something you can use every day. And I'm saying things like music, food, and all that stuff, that's something that you can go maximum. I don't know. For me, it's maximum. Time. Yeah, there's a amount of time where you can go without those. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, culture. It, it makes you different, that's the thing. It yeah, gives you that yeah. diversity better than ever. Not better than ever, but it makes you stand out. Yes. It makes you stand out, like, again, like other people. Like, you, you're trying to be the same as everyone else, kind of thing. Like, when, you, when I walk out of my house, I want to be known as, yeah, I'm African. Like, I want to. Ah, we can see that. It's not like, it's not like, it's see it, but then the talk is the same. It's more deep than that. Like, I want to be able to, like, free, freely speak, like, my, what's it called? Native tongue with my, with my family and friends kind of thing. Yeah. No, you said let, let me answer your, um, one of your first questions, yeah? Yeah. You said, what's it called? What, what's, the what's the consequences of adapting, is it? Yeah, to uh, adapting, yes, forgetting the culture. Yeah. So, I, I reckon, to be honest, if we struggle to adapt in a country like this, so you came from Africa and stuff. Very dumb. I'm sorry. Like to be honest, I'm sorry, at a young age, at a young age, yeah. you gotta go to a school. You yeah. get <laughs> waxed. <laughs> Other kids, you know, there's gonna be obviously people. From, there's, there's a possibility to see kids from your nationality, and you know, there's obviously gonna be white people or all that. You're gonna be isolated, to be honest. You're gonna be on your own. As much as it's important to know who you are, there's an importance of actually, you know, experiencing from other yeah. cultures because um, there's something that um every culture, every experience of walking life can actually add to your life. Like mm -hmm. as much as you know I'm proud of African, blah, 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 there are aspects of other cultures yeah. that are actually like, you know, that can you can integrate into your own life, mix it up in your own way and it'll actually start to mold you into an amazing type of person because you know, you can't try to live in an isolated bubble of I'm me, I'm a, I'm an African, blah, 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 yeah. in a world that is be like beginning to become more like not not one in you know what I mean? But like begin to become more mixed, people spreading yeah. out and branching out to different places. Mm -hmm. To try and live like that is ignorance, you know? So it is, yeah, as much as culture is important than that, actually being able to receive from other cultures, um, despite the barriers that there may be, mm -hmm. that's that's what's important. I think, no, no this, but that's what a lot of um, 
Eastern kind of cultures. So like um, you know, Europe and, 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 and aside from Eastern cultures, but like yeah. American things. That's that's where the problem lies because they're afraid to branch out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's that's something that Africa's doing good because we're integrating in different places. Yeah. And that's where you see Africans shining wherever we're going, you know? Yeah. And that's what I think a lot of people are failing at because they're as much as culture is important and holding on to being a proud patriot, blah blah. Receiving from other cultures and things like that is also important in, in molding you wherever you wherever you go. Yeah. I thought I was a strong black man or whatever, but I, <laughs> I still am. But like, yeah. until I was talking to someone and then um, I did something that was considered disrespectful in their culture. Yeah. What was it, bro? Huh? And what culture <laughs> was it, like? What? I don't know, but I think I said something, bro. What'd you say? Yeah, okay. I didn't say it. I didn't you know, I didn't. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> like, nah, hey, nah, hey, look, look, look. What, what are the dumb things that you reckon are part of our culture, bro? Oh, like, yeah. the, the, the stuff that you reckon you're trying to bash. Yeah, what? Yeah. Oh, 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 this oh, 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 hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, no, 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 Hey, but like real quick, if, if you're at an event and you're fucking around and then your mom sees you and she does this, uh, yeah. that's the whole point. Nah, I don't know about this. Nah, 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 this? Yeah, I'm just seeing like, yeah, I'm going to talk about I think this is a different culture then, bro. I don't know if it's, I think it's every African this company too, when you get like, when you have to come and and say hi to everyone, bro. That's respect, it's respect and everything, yeah. I don't know if you guys heard you, but like, when when they want you to come say like, hello, to the older people, yeah. you gotta like, nah, you gotta go down, bro. Like, lie down based on the ground. Bro, oh, that's, that's, that's good. Hey, bro. No, 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 yeah, he just do that. Bro, he just hang that so wait, much. Wait, 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 <laughs> no, no, you have to, you have to. Okay. Bro, lift it up, lift it up. Yeah, no, no. That's what they're making you do, you know? Come down and walk. Come down and walk. Come down and walk. No way. Why, yeah, I don't care.